Hi guys, Davey here bringing you a brand new video. Today I am doing an exotic weapon review for, you guessed it, probably from the title, the Jade Rabbit, formerly known as the Fate of All Fools. Uh, showing off first its stats, we have 290 attack, kinetic, uh, you can fix that though. You can obviously make it stronger, but initially if you get it from a drop it's going to start at 290. Uh, rate of fire is decent. It's, it's well, it's actually on the low side for a scout rifle. Uh, could be better, but it doesn't really bother me because the Jade Ribbit actually feels a little bit more like a miniature scout rifle or sniper rifle. Sorry. Uh, its impact is actually great for a scout rifle. Uh, it feel, this gun feels really powerful when you shoot it, and you can really tell. Uh, its range is also amazing. It has a very high range. It's actually a little bit lower because of one of the perks I have equipped on it but uh, it's got an amazing range on this weapon the stability is kind of low but with the rate of fire uh, it doesn't uh, really matter too much because by the time you have to get your next shot in you're pretty much back where you were shooting at so it, it's not too big of a problem but it can be fixed with its perks uh, the reload is great which you can also make better with the current perks the magazine size is pretty really low actually for a scout rifle but again but this weapon's main perk which you'll see in a minute and another uh, perk on this weapon uh, it doesn't matter too much um, it, again it also feels kind of like a sniper rifle so it's kind of got a big magazine or a little bit higher than average magazine size for a uh, sniper rifle so uh, Without further ado, we'll get to the perks. I'll do the main one last because, boy, is it a doozy. Uh, first off, we have Soft Ballistics, which is the first one you start off with. It gives you, you know, you have a good range with it, and uh, it's, I, I changed it to try to fix the stability just a little bit, but uh, you'll see that in a minute. Then we have CQB Ballistics, which will give it a little bit more impact for uh, less range. But then the last one, you have a little bit less range, and uh, you get your stability up. And this is the one that I go with, even though it kind of hurts the range. The range is already absolutely amazing for this gun. So to me, it doesn't really feel like I need uh, the... It doesn't really hurt with the less range on it. And uh, there's a little bit of stability is a little bit of help. But again, it still can be fixed on top of that. Uh, spray and play, when the magazine is empty, you uh, reload much faster. And coupled with the already high reload speed, uh, it, it really helps, especially because you have a low magazine size, which again, you'll see, you'll be fixed. Uh, it'll, it, you run out of ammo, uh, you can run out of ammo fast. And you'll know what I mean by that in a minute. Extended mag, which increases the magazine from 7 to, I believe, 11, but I have not unlocked this perk quite yet. But uh, it's it, it would definitely help, and this is the one that I'm probably going to stick with when it comes to the middle perks. Uh, then we have Speed Reload, which gives it more reload, but I don't think this perk is going to be used too much because you already have a really good reload, and then you already have Spray and Play, so I, I think this is uh, unneeded. Uh, custom Optics, if you really want to turn this into a uh, true sniper, uh, this would really help, I believe, the scope if you want to make it into more of a sniper. But I kind of like it as a scout rifle and a sniper because I can use it far away and up close. Then last but not least is uh, Zen Moment, which increases stability by causing damage, which is perfect for this weapon because uh, with the main perk, uh, it's really helpful and it helps with the stability. It will help with the stability and. Uh, that's what's going to make this gun really great and its main ability the fate of all fools chain body shots to gain bonus damage on your next precision shot and return ammo to the mag that is awesome because this is great for bosses because you can just uh keep hitting their criticals and then maybe get a couple body shots in to get your ammo back up and then continue doing that and you pretty much have your infinite ammo sort of like the black hammer in its own way and then plus you get the extra damage on your next precision shot after you've done that which is to me it's just awesome because you can just sit back and just keep doing this and never have to do anything else and 
I love it. And coupled with the Zen moment, it works really well with this perk too because it gets your stability back up. Even though the stability again isn't too bad because you can align your shot up again anyway because of the rate of fire. It just makes it all come together great. And I think when this is fully upgraded, this is going to be one of the best uh, exotics in the game. And uh, I'll show you some gameplay for this. Uh, I can't promise I'll be able to get the headshots with the body shots because I tried doing this video earlier and I just kept killing people. So I'm trying this again and hopefully I can show you its ability. See that? Again, killing these guys way too fast. And you see the spray employee coming into the works here? I'm there, right there. You get your ammo right back up. And I, that's why I love this. Normally I can get this better when I'm not trying. But <laughs> I am trying, so I'm not getting it as well. But I think you get the gist of the gameplay. Uh, this weapon is just absolutely amazing. As you can see, it kind of right, goes right back to its uh, original spot. This is its reload speed without the perk, which isn't too bad at all. It's already great. I think this weapon's kind of designed to make sure that you always are going to get your shots. And uh, you're always just going to have ammo and just be able to shoot, shoot, shoot. I think that's the main purpose of this weapon. Alright guys, uh, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Uh, thank you again. I already said that. Thank you for watching my video. I guess I'm saying it again. Thank you for watching my video, guys, and have a wonderful day.